23. Ortiz will inbound the ball. She gets it to Jackson. Jackson up to Garcia. That's knocked away by Potter. Potter taps it to Sims. Sims looks to drive to the rim. She's going to be fouled. She's going to be fouled by number five of Raymond Escalas. That's Talia Jackson. Because of the bonus, Sims will end up on the line. Into sub, number 32, Mulholland. Will spell Ortiz. Sims at the line. Sims put in the first one. Sims makes the first of a one and one. And she makes the second. Sims now with 12 on the evening. 29-27, Gila Ridge, the free throws by Sims give the Hawks the lead. Five looks inside, but that pass is knocked away by senior number 24, Katie Watley. Watley steps in the passing lane, great defense. Raymond S. Kellis will get the ball back. Jacobson looks inbounds. She finds Vicente, Vicente blocked by Watley. The ball end up in 32's hands and Sims will come down with the rebound. Sims looks, she takes the ball to her left hand, puts it behind her back, brings it up. She ends up passing off to Fane at the top of the key. Fane will reset the play for everyone. Watley comes up to the top of the key. So does DeCourse. DeCourse puts the ball back to Watley. X Garcia with the ball. And Watley with the smart foul doesn't allow her to put the layup in. Falls on number 24, Kitty Watley. That'll send X Garcia to the line for two. 641 remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. Gila Ridge up 29-27. X, X Garcia will put in the first of her two free throws. That takes her to 16 points on the evening. And she'll miss the second one. Rebound bounces around. It ends up in 32's hands. 32 blocked by number 24, Watley. Ball's on the ground. Watley, Fane, and Mulholland all are tied up. Ball ends up with Keela Ridge doing the possession arrow. Inbounding the ball. Number two, Sims. Watley will take a seat. In will come to Corsi. Potter, Fane, other to course, and Sims. Sims brings the ball up. She looks to the right side. Potter inside Isabella. Isabella to course, just misses off the iron. To course, to course, and Mulholland all tied up underneath. And that possession will end up with Raymond Eskelis. We've got a score of 29, 28 with 626 remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. Off the right side <coughs> to number 33. She'll miss off the hands of Sims. Ball ends up back in 33's hands. Out to X Garcia. X Garcia, the point guard, takes it up the right side. Puts up the teardrop, just misses. Ball goes off of number two's hands into Sims' hands. Sims up. And she'll be blocked on that shot by number 33, Yasmin Escobar. And it'll put Sims on the line for two. Six minutes remaining. That's the, that's the 11th foul on Raymond S. Kellis. And Sims puts in the first free throw. Brings a lead to two for the Hawks, 30 to 28. Six minutes exactly remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. Sims will take a look at her second free throw. And her second free throw is in and out. Boom. 
And I'm gonna call a foul on Blue 42 on the free throw. And that'll send Sims. Sims back at the line for another two. And the first by Sims is good. And she gets another crack at the second free throw. Puts it in the right hand and perfect again. Brings Sims up to 15 for the night. X Garcia trapped by Potter and DeCourse. She gets it out to number two. That ball goes off the iron. And that'll end up off a Gila Ridge player. <coughs> It'll stay with Raymond S. Kellis. Inbounding the ball. Inbounding the ball for Raymond Escalas is X Garcia. X Garcia into Vicente. Vicente surveys the land. She'll pass it back to X Garcia. Garcia, the point guard, sets up. She passes out to Vicente on the right side. Xavier Garcia coming around. And we got a three second violation against Raymond Escalas. I'll turn the ball over to the Hawks. DeCourse, 33. Passes into Sims. Sims calls out the play, lets Potter know what she wants. She brings it up the right hand side with her right hand. She puts it inside to Watley. Ball get tipped off to number 42, Vicente. And Xavier Garcia will again reset the play for Raymond S. Kellis Cougars. She brings it up the right hand side, puts it in her right hand. Ball knocked away by either Potter or Sims. But she'll end up with the ball back. <laughs> Looked like Alex Wilson picked it up and passed it back to her. Out to Vicente. Vicente's looking inside to number 32, but Watley playing strong defense. Sims now moves over to Garcia. Watley steps out onto number two, Alex Wilson. She'll cause her to miss the shot, and Watley will pick up the rebound. They get the ball back to Sims. Hawks with a four point lead, 439 remaining here in the fourth quarter. DeCourse with the ball, she looks over to the right hand side to Potter, Potter for three, just off the iron. X Garcia with the ball, she only got one defender and that defender is Sims. Sims causes her to stop a little short. Sims with the outlet pass to number 34 and number 34, Isabella DeCourse puts it in for two points. That's gonna make us call a full timeout here for Raymond S. Kellis. Full timeout for Raymond S. Kellis. We do have an injured, we do have an injured player on the court. Gila Ridge leads this game 34 to 28. Currently six point lead with 409 remaining here in the first half of play. Sorry, in the, in the fourth quarter. 34 to 28 here in the fourth quarter. Six point lead. Eight fouls for Gila Ridge, 10 fouls for Raymond S. Kellis. They're in the double bonus. We have an injured player on the court, so as, as soon as the trainers check her out, we will get back to basketball. And the injured player is number 10, X Garcia. She's able to walk back to the bench. And now Raymond S. Kels will take a full timeout. Both coaching staffs have their teams in the huddle talking in strategy and what to do with these four minutes and nine seconds left remaining here in the game. We've got six point difference between the two teams right now. 34 for the Hawks, 28 for Raymond S. Kellis. When we come back, it will be Gila Ridge ball.
It's actually Raymond Escalas' ball. To inbound for the Cougars, that's going to be number five, Talia Jackson. No X Garcia on the floor. She's the leading scorer tonight with 16 for the Cougars. Potter with the defense. She looks ahead. She looks towards the Senti. It ends up in Jackson's hands. Jackson will just miss. 33 and 24 on the ground for the ball. 32 goes to put it up. And she'll be fouled. She'll be fouled by number 11, Tori Potter. That'll put her on the line. That's going to be number 32, Caitlin Mulholland. Mulholland will miss off the front left iron with her first free throw. She has a second attempt. And Mulholland's second attempt goes off the back iron, ends up in Sims' hands. It'll be knocked away from Sims. Alex Wilson with the ball. Back out to Talia Jackson. She looks up to Vicente at the top of the key. Vicente thought about the three, steps inside, takes the two. It'll be off the iron, off to DeCourse. DeCourse out to Potter. Potter looks up the court, 33 not open, so she passes it back to DeCourse. And now the ball is back in Sims' hand. She will call out the play. Screen by Watley. She takes it up the left side, back inside towards Watley. She'll miss her by just that much. And number five will pick up the ball. 20. Kyra Jacobson brings the ball up. She's defended by Potter. The Hawks have played some pretty good defense tonight. They'll call a travel against number 20, Jacobson, and Gila Ridge will take the ball over. Tossing in the ball, Felicity to course. And we'll have a 30 second timeout here for Gila Ridge. We've got 321 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Six point lead for the Hawks. Sims and Martin in the huddle, talking to the girls, letting them know what to do for the next three minutes and 21 seconds. Continue the strong defensive play, take the good shots. And with a six point lead and 321 to go. The course will inbound the ball. The course into Sims, Sims, Watley sets the screen. Sims hitting the face on the play. Ball back to Sims, she'll fight through it. She puts the ball in her right hand, brings it up the court. Watley with the putback, Watley with her own rebound. Watley goes to put it back up again. She's hit this time and Watley will go to the line for two. That foul will be on number 23, Bianca Ortiz. And Watley with the point. She'll extend the lead to seven, 35, 28. That's Watley's first point of the game. And Katie puts in her second. She's two for two from the line. She'll retreat back on defense. Potter up at the top. DeCourse, Sims, DeCourse, and DeCourse. Pass ends up deep in there. Watley with the foul on Vicente. 2.51 remaining. That's the Hawks' 10th foul. Vicente will end up at the line. Hawks now with an eight point lead with 2.51 remaining here in the game. On the floor for your Hawks, 11, Tori Potter, 33 and 34, Isabella and Felicity DeCourse, 24, Katie Watley, and two, Molly Sims. On the floor for Raymond Askellis, you've got two, Alex Wilson, five, Talia Jackson. 42, Vicente, she'll miss the second free throw. Sims with the rebound. 
Sims looks to push it up the court. She pushes it up to DeCourse. DeCourse blocked by Vicente. Number five, Talia Jackson ends up with the ball. She passes off to Jacobson. Jacobson looks to go right, brings it up to the left, puts the ball back in her right hand at the top of the key. Potter with a good defense, caps it away, but she'll end up with it. Then Jacobson with the push. Potter causes the turnover and the foul. Keeler Ridge ball back in the game for Raymond S. Kellis. X Garcia. 229 remaining here in the fourth quarter of play. 36 28. Sims into Potter. Back to Sims, back to Potter. Out to DeCourse, DeCourse looks to the left, takes it in, ball off to Watley, Watley out to Sims. Sims will take it into the paint. Watley ends up with the ball, and Potter for three. Off the backboard and off the iron. They're on the ground, 24 and 23, tie up underneath the rim. The ball stay with Gila Ridge. 2.05 remaining here to play, eight point lead. DeCourse with the ball. She looks to pass it in. She tosses it in and it's picked up by number five, Talia Jackson. Jackson on the fast break, takes it up the floor and she'll score for Raymond S. Kellis. She's got eight points on the night and that cuts the Gila Ridge lead to six with 1.53 remaining here. In the fourth quarter of play, Sims with the ball on the right-hand side. Passes it off to DeCourse. DeCourse inside to Watley. Watley back out to DeCourse. DeCourse will lose the handle on it, and it'll end up with Raymond S. Kellis, 142 remaining here to play in the fourth quarter. And we will have a, we'll have a timeout. Raymond S. Kellis. And we'll have a full timeout for Raymond S. Kellis. Raymond S. Kellis trailing by six currently with 142 left to play here in the game. It looks like number 45, Holly Binder, will be checking in for your Gila Ridge Hawks when we come back from this timeout. 36 36 point lead. 142 remaining here in the game. And the buzzer goes off. They have 15 seconds to break their timeout huddles. In come the Hawks, 142 remaining. On the floor for your Lady Hawks, we've got Sims and Watley, Felicity and Isabella DeCourse, and number 45 now into the game, Holly Binder. Twenty-three looks to inbound. She finds X Garcia. Garcia guarded by Binder. Oh, they find Vicente up at the front of the court. Vicente with the easy layup for two. She puts it in, cuts the lead to four. Ball into Sims. Up to DeCourse. DeCourse back to Sims. She looks around. One twenty-five left to play here in the game, and they'll call the foul on Gila Ridge. That'll be a turnover. Four point lead for the Hawks, 123 to go. And you've got Raymond S. Kellis with the ball. Sims knocks the ball out of number five, Talia Jackson's hand. Ball end up out of play. And the ball stay with Raymond S. Kellis. 23, Bianca Ortiz inbounds to Talia Jackson. Jackson finds Vicente. Vicente fakes the shot, comes around, puts in another two. Those are Vicente's seventh points of the evening. 
Now the game 36, 34. One minute and four seconds left to play. Sims with the ball. She'll look to her right. She'll put it up to DeCourse. DeCourse looks inside. She'll bring it back up to the top to Sims. Sims with 54 seconds on the clock. Dribbles, looks back to DeCourse. DeCourse back out top to Sims. Sims. Watley sets the screen. Sims comes inside, puts it off the backboard and back iron. She'll miss Watley there to pick up the rebound, puts it back up. She'll miss the shot, but she'll end up on the line for two. Gila Ridge, two point lead. Watley at the line for two shots. 32 seconds remaining here in the game. And Watley misses off the right iron for her first free throw. She's got a second chance at it to extend the lead to three. 32 seconds remaining here. Watley will miss the second. DeCourse with the rebound underneath. They'll tie up 34 and 23. That's DeCourse and Bianca Ortiz. After the tie up, possession arrow will give it to Raymond Askelis. 23, Bianca Ortiz inbound. She's looking for Xavier Garcia, but she'll end up going to number five, Talia Jackson. Jackson looking for Basenti. Watley interrupts the passing lane, causes her to toss it over Basenti, and it goes out of bounds. We've got a two point game, 36 for Gila Ridge, 34 for Raymond S. Kellis, 23 seconds left. Kellis looks to foul, they'll foul number two, Sims. Sims on the night has 15 points, looks to extend her scoring lead for the team tonight. Sims just misses the first of two off to the right, just dribbled off the rim. Sims puts up her second one, it is perfect. That's her 16th point of the evening. Ball out to X Garcia. X Garcia <coughs> defended by Potter. Potter tries to force her out of bounds but she'll be called for the foul. X Garcia will end up on the line. Hawks by three currently. Fif 15 seconds remaining here in the game. 37-34, X Garcia will miss the first of her two free throws. X has 16 points on the evening so far. She's in a tie with Molly Sims for most points so far this evening. X Garcia will put in the second one. She'll get one more. That brings her score to 17 of the 35 for Raymond S. Kellis. Brings the game to within two, 37-35. We'll have a timeout, 15 seconds remaining. Gila Ridge ball when we come back from this timeout. You'd expect Martin and Sims are going over the play, letting them know exactly who they want the ball to get inbounded to. Kellis will probably look to foul on this play with 15 seconds left. Gila Ridge 37, Raymond S. Kellis 35. And we got Felicity to course to inbound the ball. She's got Sims and Potter down close to her. She looks for Sims, she finds Sims. Sims will take it up the right hand side. She'll cut through the entire defense, brings it around and out to the corner. She tries to bring it up to the top of the key, but she is fouled. Number 10, X 
Number 10, X Garcia commits the foul. That'll send Sims to the line. Seven seconds remaining here. Sims looks to put two in. Sims makes good on the first of her two. She's now got 17 points on the night. And Sims extends the lead to four, and she also is our leading scorer of the evening with 18. X Garcia, our second leading scorer, brings the ball up. She has 17. She looks to throw up the ball. She'll miss, and that'll bring us to the end of the game. 39 to 35. Your Gila Ridge Hawks start their season off with a victory against the visiting Raymond S. Kellis Cougars. Stats for tonight include Molly Sims with 18 points, Molly Fain with seven, Isabella DeCourse with seven, Felicity DeCourse and Jasmine Polk each with two, as well as Katie Watley, and Holly Binder with one. For the Raymond S. Kellis Cougars, X Garcia leads the scoring with 17, Talia Jackson with eight, Basenti with seven, and Alex Wilson with one, Kyra Jacobson with two. The Gila Ridge Hawks Lady Varsity Basketball Team would like to thank you for tuning into the live stream. Uh, thank you so, so much for supporting these girls as they go through this basketball season. We appreciate it and so do they. Have a great night.
Coming up in about five minutes, your Gila Ridge Hawks boys varsity basketball team will tip off against the Raymond S. Kellis Cougars. 